right there right there you see a raw meal from my German Shepherd Lobo it consists of uh, two chicken leg quarters some chicken gizzards and hearts and that wad of green stuff there is some uh, spinach there's Lobo and this is a mukbang video enjoy In the background there you see my Blue Bay Shepherd Kurgan. Don't feel sorry for him. We just filmed a mukbang video with him. He's just in there now to uh, separate him while I'm feeding Lobo. I feed my dogs what's called the raw diet. There are three main raw diets out there. There's the BARF diet which is an acronym for biologically appropriate raw foods. There is the uh, RMB diet which stands for raw meaty bones and the prey model diet I feed my dogs the barf diet which was created by veterinarian Dr. Ian Billinghurst he wrote some good books on the subject uh, give your dog a bone and grow your pups with bones I'll leave links to them in the video description if you want to learn more about them this is the way canines are biologically intended to eat you don't have to worry about raw food bacteria with dogs. 18% of dogs carry salmonella as a natural part of their gut flora. Dogs have uh, more powerful digestive juices and a shorter G tract than humans, making them uh, biologically designed to deal with raw food bacteria. I've been feeding this way for uh, a little over 20 years. I've been a long time animal warden. I've converted many dogs I've rescued over the years to a raw diet and I've started many puppies out from day one on raw. I've had nothing but uh, positive experiences with the diet. I highly recommend it. But I also say I'm just some guy on YouTube and you should uh, go down below and uh, research some of the links I provided you. Don't take my word for it. Lobo's eating up the spinach and the uh, organ meat that's in the bowl there. I like to pet and handle my dogs a lot when they're eating food just because it prevents things like food aggression. I've been doing that with them since they were puppies. Lobo's got a few burrs stuck on his side. Uh, we just got back from hiking down at the Mississippi River Valley. We did about five miles through the through the valley there. They went through some pretty thick stuff. If you check out my channel, it's mostly a vlog of our wilderness hikes together. These guys get tons of exercise every day off leash. My dogs live in the house, they don't live in the kennel. The kennel's just to separate them when I have a female in heat or when I'm feeding them so uh, the dogs get the amount of food I want them to eat. They're not having to inhale it fast to keep the other dogs from getting it. When you're feeding your dogs raw, you want them to take their time. You want them to chew the food up well. You don't want them to swallow great big pieces without chewing them up. A raw diet is great for their oral hygiene. Chewing through the bones uh, prevents any tartar buildup. 
which in turn helps stop uh, tooth decay, which in turn uh, contributes to them having uh, fresh breath. There's a really good uh, documentary on uh, Netflix right now called Pet Fooled, which uh, will show you what exactly is being put inside your uh, commercial pet food. That documentary is responsible for uh, recently uh, switching a lot of people over to a raw diet once they found out exactly what it is they're feeding their dogs. Now it's perfectly safe for your dog to chew up and swallow raw meaty bones. Raw bones are not dangerous. Dogs are biologically designed to process them. It's cooked bones that are dangerous. Cooking the bone changes the consistency of the bone and makes it indigestible to the dog, prone to causing obstructions and perforations of the bowel. Lobo is a long-coated German Shepherd from working lines. His parents come from Easy Brook Kennels in PA. A friend of mine owns both the parents. If you watch any of my uh, hiking vlogs, you'll know he's extremely athletic. I also have several videos of him running alongside my bike. Again, if you're interested in learning more about feeding a raw diet and want to know how to get started, I'm going to provide several links in the video description below the video here that will uh, provide all the information you need, including a uh, raw food calculator that will tell you just how much food to feed your dog according to its weight and activity level. The ratios I typically feed my dogs are 70% meat, 10% bone, 10% uh, organ meat, and 10% uh, uh, fruits and veggies. And people ask about these platforms all the time. I picked them up used from a boarding kennel that was shutting down years ago. They're rubberized uh, metal. If you do a Google search on raised kennel flooring, you'll see uh, some similar items like those, like these pop up in the search results. I figured I'd throw that in there because I get asked questions about them all the time. Got some courteous neighbor out front honking their horn repetitively. Isn't that nice? <laughs>
Again, you'll see he powers right through that bone like it's nothing. Raw poultry bones are 100% safe for your dogs. It's cooked bones that are dangerous. People often confuse the two. Wilbo's been eating this way since he was eight weeks old. He's three and you can see he's still doing well and going strong. Well, that's what a uh, raw meal looks like for a 90 pound German Shepherd. We'll be getting a second meal similar to that uh, later on today. I hope you enjoyed that. Again, if you want to learn more about feeding raw, check out the uh, links I provided in the video description below. Like, subscribe, and share. That's all. Bye.